I'm confused, guys. I, I'm just looking at this picture and I'm confused. I'm confused on how the driver made it that far with his um, fifth wheel, you know, and trailer not properly connected. Now maybe, maybe, just maybe, guys, maybe he or she had just got on the interstate because with FedEx ground, a lot of times their terminals are like right off the interstate a lot of times. So maybe they had just turned out of the terminal and got right on the interstate and this happened maybe, but I don't see how they could have been driving for miles and miles and it finally decides to um, disconnect. I'm confused. I, I'm just, I'm confused. Maybe y'all can help me understand this because I, I just don't know about this one. I just don't know. Now, of course, it's 100% preventable. Now, we're just gonna say he or she, they did not properly inspect their trailers. You know, when they back that lead and dolly to that tail rear trailer, there's no way he or she got under there to make sure that it was uh, connected. There's no way, there's no way. And I highly doubt that it was a mechanical error because it's very unlikely that it just unhooks on its own, you know? I made a little clip that shows you guys what to check for and what to do. That way you don't end up in a situation like that. So stay tuned and watch this clip. So hopefully y'all can hear me. So always make sure that this is uh, firmly on your dolly. You wanna make sure that this does not lift up. As I've said in other videos, you always wanna make sure you have your two safety chains in the event that it does become unhooked. But like I said, always have your chains. Every dolly is different, so make sure that the bar And then always get under your trailer and check. Always check, make sure that's locked, guys. All right, so hopefully the audio was good enough to where you guys could um, hear and basically get the gist of what I was saying and showing you guys. If it wasn't, you know, just let me know and I'll uh, redo it. Now, because he or she dropped that rear trailer on the interstate, not only did they cost uh, FedEx and their contractor money, but I'm willing to bet that he or she has lost their job because if you drop a trailer, you're done. Now, had he or she dropped it, you know, in the FedEx, uh, terminal maybe maybe they would still be employed but if you drop a trailer uh on the highway you're done that's gonna go on your DAC and yeah nobody's gonna want to hire you so when it comes to these doubles guys i've said this before you need to take your time stop rushing now with fedex ground and those of y'all some of y'all don't know this i worked at fedex ground prior to um doing ltl so i know that when you're at fedex ground you know you're constantly hustling 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 you know trying to get in trying to get out but at the same time you can't be making reckless errors like that you know always guys get under both trailers get under that lead trailer make sure that your lead is properly connected to your tractor and you need to make sure that dolly is properly hooked to that tail just because you hear a click don't assume that it's hooked do a tug test you know do a tug test when you hook up to your lead do a tug test on the lead and tractor. Do a tug test on the um, dolly and your tail. Anytime you stop or park, always, you know, do a tug test because don't assume that somebody won't pull their fifth foot. Now maybe, um, maybe, you know, in that picture, maybe they had just stopped and maybe we're in the truck side, maybe they somebody had pulled their fifth foot, maybe. I mean, that's a possibility. But again, it's your responsibility to check, especially if you're pulling doubles. You have two fifth wheels that you need to check. So just check them, you know, it's not gonna take up too much time to check, you know? So point of the video is check everything, guys. I'm gonna keep stressing it until you drivers learn, check everything. All right, I'll catch you on the next one.